Hey and welcome to Kiwi Tech. Today we're looking at a root method for the latest update to the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. The update is build number .290 or 14.2a0.290. So this is the update to Android 4.3. So first of all, let me show you my screen and show you that, that I am indeed running Android 4.3. Uh, let me just turn up the brightness because it's a little bit dim. And I'll even turn off that haptic lighting. Right, so go into settings. And go into about phone and you can see that my board number 14.2.a.0.290. Uh, this is running a custom kernel, uh, stock but slightly modified, and this is Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. The previous build was running Android 4.2.2, so this is um, quite a big step up. Now we're going to be using a tool called Flash Tool. If you haven't used it before, you'll need to go to the Sony website and download the drivers, and also download Flash Tool, the latest version, and also Flash Tool drivers. So if you haven't done that, then you'll need to look at a previous video I've already done because that's a necessary step. Your phone won't be able to flash the new update and your phone won't be able to work using Flash Tool. Now, as you can see, Flash Tool is open. I'm plugging my device in now and you can see bottom right corner, it's detected my device and Flash Tool has actually detected the device in fast boot mode. Now, to enter fast boot mode, your phone must be powered off and then you plug it into the USB and as you do that you hold the volume down button on your phone. Right, the next thing you do is click on the lightning bolt and as you do that this dialog box will pop up. Select enter and then you'll come up with this dialog box. Now you can see I have highlighted my latest update to FTF firmware. Follow the link in the description and it says FTF firmware. You'll need to download the one that's suitable for your device. Don't worry about the country that it says it's from, as long as it's the C6802 or C6806 or C6833. Um, whatever variant you have of the Ultra, you just need to download that appropriate version. Okay, so now it says we need to enter flash mode. So what you do is power off your device, hold the volume up button and plug it into the USB again and then it will be going. Now, as you can see, this is flashing the latest firmware, and it, it probably will take about five to seven minutes. Uh, it will take a little while because it's got to flash everything from kernel to system to data, to everything. And once it has finished that, you then want to flash the .290 kernel. Now, this kernel is being slightly modified. The only modification that's been done is recovery has been embedded into this kernel. So the link to the kernel is in the description, so make sure you download that as well. So we need to enter fast boot mode. And then once you've clicked that, this dialog box will appear and we need to select the kernel. We want to flash this kernel. And once you've done that, you then boot into Clockwork Mode Recovery. Now to boot into Clockwork Mode Recovery, you, from a powered off device, you hold the power button to turn it on. As soon as you see that purple light flash at the top right corner, you hold volume up and that will go to Clockwork Mode Recovery. Or you could hold volume down to enter the other version of recovery. From there, all we need to do is flash the superuser.zip and that link is in the description as well. And there we have it. You have a .290 update, Android 4.3. You have a Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery project also installed. So you have a two-way recovery system and you are rooted. So this has been Kiwi Tech. Thanks for watching. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to make sure you follow the instructions very carefully. And stay tuned for my next videos.